radius on the ulnar shaft fractures, complications of forearm bone fractures, which includes refracture from removal of retained hardware, the heritopic ossification, and the compartment syndrome, refracture from removal of retained hardware. Patient had open reduction internal fixation of mid-shaft radius fracture. Patient has four inch of motion and no tenderness and the fracture healed. So what do you do? You reassure the patient and you do occasional follow-up examination. If there is plate irritation, then you remove the plate and you may get a refracture. Plate should not be removed before 12 months. Some people delay removal of the plate until 2 years post-injury. After implant removal, the forearm should be splinted for 6 weeks to decrease the chance of refracture. The physical plate removal from the forearm carries a high risk of refracture for that bone. Refracture occurs in about 5 to 10 percent following both bone fractures. The refracture can happen through the original fracture or through the screw holes. If refracture occur, the treatment should be open reduction and internal fixation. There is some other risk factors if there is comminution of the fracture or if 4.5 screws are used initially. Another complication is the HO. HO, heterotopic ossification, is bony bridging myositis. Bone bridging between the radius and the ulna that restrict rotation. Daily excision is done four to six months after surgery. Traditionally, it used to be 12 months, but nowadays it's done earlier. When you fix the radius and the ulna, it is better to do dual incision rather than a single incision. Synestosis can occur as a complication from one incision to both bones. Avoid one incision approach to both bones. Another complication is compartment syndrome. Patient will have pain with passive stretch of digits. When there is pain with passive stretch of digits, the physician should be concerned about an impending or established compartment syndrome. The physician should avoid multiple attempts at reduction of the fracture. The treatment of compartment syndrome is forearm fasciotomy. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.